They call it blue gold. It's more valuable to us than any other type of gold. Control the water supply and you're in charge. That's been the case since the dawn of history. The first recorded water war took place in Mesopotamia 4,500 years ago. That's when rival cities fought over a vital irrigation canal. Since then, water's remained a big cause of conflict across the globe. Ancient Egypt was totally dependent on the River Nile. Its steady flow of water has remained vital ever since. But since 2011, Ethiopia has been building a dam on the Blue Nile. This has Egyptians worried about their water supply, and they've threatened war because of it. Water is influence, water is power. Why do you think China is so obsessed with Tibet? Water is a big part of that. The Tibetan Plateau's glaciers are a vital water source. In fact, almost half of the world's population lives near a river that comes from that glacier. But China is building a lot of dams, and the downstream countries are nervous. They're afraid their water supply will dry up, ruining farms and economies. Some countries have had their water sapped, and some didn't have much to begin with. Most of the world's water-poor countries are in the Middle East. You think the Israeli-Palestinian conflict is over religion? It's got much more to do with land. And what's land without water? In the occupied territories, the Israeli military restricts Palestinian water access with permits and fines. So what? Maybe you're water rich and thinking, how does this affect me? Well, a recent Pentagon report says it's an issue of national security. Climate change will lead to water shortages and global conflict. So water, we might not think about it when it's there, but what will we do when it's not? Want more on water? Check out our Running Dry playlist.